Now that we've gone ahead and created groups in Onyx and uh, our 2D plan as well, the next thing I like to do is create presets. Um, so first things first, if you came directly from the last video, go ahead and press clear twice. If you have anything in your programmer, clear it all out. We're starting fresh. Our demo file here, if we go up to the first view here, our fixtures presets, has a bunch of presets already built. So I want to talk quickly about what presets do, how to use them, why they matter so much, and then show you how to record one. It's so easy. So presets are really helpful because they're the building block. They're kind of an intermediary when we're building a queue, meaning that we select fixtures either individually or in groups, then we apply presets. So for example, let me just grab uh, these fixtures individually, or I could have grabbed the group, probably should have. And then I could press this intensity at 100% and the lights turn on. That's how group presets work. Now you might be asking yourself, hey David, why don't I just go here and just bring it up to full? Why don't I just go to the intensity, bring it up to full, use the encoder wheel? You know, why don't I just dial in a color, etc.? There's two reasons. The first reason is it's quicker to have presets for your intensity, your pan tilt positions, your color, your gobos, your beam, all, all of your different parameters of your lights. It's, it's easier to just go, hey, I want to go place these here, color, gobo, you know, focus it. Boom. You know, that's, that's what I want. Boom, done, quick and easy. The more important reason, however, is when updating. So the beautiful thing about presets is they can be updated later. So you go to a new venue, you add new fixtures that you've cloned in, or uh, something moves on stage, a client walks in and requests a change maybe to this yellow. Um, and you've put that into a bunch of cues, right? You've taken one preset, say this yellow preset, and it might be in 10 cues, it might be in 20 cues. Uh, for example, the show file I start with has a ton of color combinations pre-programmed. And, uh, and so if I needed to update every cue with yellow in it, I would have to go to each cue. I would have to figure out which lights were yellow, um, though there are some shortcuts there. Then I would, then I would have to go change the yellow update the queue um, and move on to the next one and do it again. If I use a preset, all I do is update that yellow preset and then I'm done. Like every queue that that yellow preset was used in gets updated. It gets fixed right away. It's beautiful. And so that's the beauty of presets. Um, not only with colors, but positions, you go to a new venue, all your positions are gonna change, okay? There's never a good reason to update a queue uh, when something could be updated with a preset. Queue updating is for actual changes to the queue, not just refining a uh, color or position. So that's why presets are so important because when you use them and you need to update a position, a color, anything, it's going to save you so much time. Um, also, if you do end up using cloning, which is a little bit advanced, but it's where you bring in other lights, copy them into your show, um, presets are completely invaluable. It, it, cloning will not work right for many parameters without presets. It's, it's a key step to make sure you can customize uh, everything to work exactly as you need. So off my soapbox, we're just going to go ahead and clear twice and build our first preset. Uh, presets, as we see, are organized into the parameter groups that match what we see when we select a light and have our parameter groups here, okay? So all we have to do, say we're doing an intensity preset, we take some lights. Um, I do recommend every light that can do the given parameter should be stored into the preset. Okay, so you don't have to do one preset for your spots, one for your washes at full, one for your beams at full. You do one preset at full, every light can be in that that has the full, uh, that is at full. Okay, so just as a demonstration, I'll go to my groups here. I'm gonna grab all these guys. Grab everything, take it to full, record, new preset, at full. I know there already is one, but for the sake of demonstration, this is what we're gonna do, clear twice. 
Now the benefit to presets, like I said, is you want to store everything into that preset because when you go to record a cue, you simply select the lights you want. And even though there's more lights in the preset, only the selected lights get the preset applied when we press that preset, as you can see here. All the lights are in this preset. They didn't all get brought to that preset into our programmer ready to record a cue. Only the lights we selected did. Okay, if you select lights and they're not in the preset and you press that preset, nothing's going to happen. Presets, real important. Okay, so now that you've done that, uh, the, do take note that for presets, if you're going around here, and let's just, for example, take these lights, bring them to full, move them, pop them in a color. If I go... And let's say I go to my pan tilt presets and I want to record that pan tilt preset. Okay. Um, only by default, only the parameters in the given parameter group, in this case, pan tilt will record to that preset. Okay. Uh, you can override it using these filters, um, but that's a little bit of an advanced topic. And honestly, I recommend not doing that unless you're absolutely sure you want to, because they can really make a mess of your preset window and make it harder to use your console. Um, as always, I, I often tell people with a professional grade console like Onyx, um, if you know the, how you set it up and how you stay organized is, is like the difference between someone walking up to it and going, oh, Onyx is really hard to use and oh, Onyx is really easy to use. How you set it up really matters. If, if everything's a mess and disorganized, it's hard to find things. Um, then people uh, and you might get a bad impression about the software, whereas it's, it's actually not the software's fault. Um, it's the person you're looking at in the mirror. So um, if I recorded a pan tilt preset, even though I moved these, I turned them on, I made them green, the only thing that's stored there is pan tilt. So they just moved. If I highlight them, I can see they're there, but we didn't store green, we didn't store intensity, uh, just pan tilt. Okay? Um, so those are presets. Uh, the beautiful thing about them in this demo file is that there are already a great number of presets programmed. If you're not using the demo file, if you're building your own file, I would go ahead and program out the major colors, positions, intensity, gobo, uh, beam, all the presets you'd want to use. And then join us in our next video because we're going to build some cues. We're going to show you how they work, teach you some tricks to get the most out of it. So if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe here to our Learn Stage Lighting Onyx channel and be sure to check out all of our channels, LearnStageLighting.com, Learn Stage Lighting Gear. We want to help you make the best event possible by giving you the knowledge and the skills to make great lighting and providing you with the gear that you need in order to do it. So check us out, check out everything. We'd love to help you with anything you need. And in the next video, that would be cues. We'll see you there. Thanks.